internet, today I wanted to do a video on some eyeshadows that I've recently received. You probably know by the title already so I don't know why I'm trying to be all mysterious like some eyeshadows. I recently received the Morphe palette. Morphe? Morphe? People say Morphe and I'm pretty sure it is Morphe but I just feel like it should be Morph. Like Morphe sounds so cringy to me so... But whatever you want to call it, I've got the palette. I got the um, 35F Into the Frost because those kind of colours are like my favourites and all the kind of videos slash YouTubers that have made videos on these palettes, they've, all the ones I've really liked have used this palette. So I decided to get this one. And today I thought I'd maybe do like a little swatches video. I've never done one of these so I'm not really sure how it's going to work out. But I just thought it would maybe give you guys like an idea of what kind of colours and what kind of like quality you're buying if you are thinking of buying one of these. So it's like this. This is with the plastic on it. Um, sorry if you can hear my fan by the way, it's like a really hot day, so. It doesn't have a mirror, but I don't use the eyeshadow mirrors ever anyway. So there are all the colours. And I don't really know how I'm going to do this, like, I've never even watched a swatch of video actually. Do I? So my favourite colours that I've used a lot, I usually kind of start with the matte ones down the bottom as my transition shades. Obviously I'm not going to use like black as a transition shade. Um, but kind of the lighter ones like these two. This one looks light but it's actually surprisingly dark. So I do use those three mostly, these two. And then I kind of pick a colour. So I feel like on this palette you can either go for an orangey, a purpley, a goldy or maybe like a silvery look and to be honest when I first got it and looked at it I wasn't like oh my god like it looks like such amazing quality because personally when I first looked at it I was like oh like they look a bit shitty like have I got have I accidentally bought like a fake but when you put them on oh my god like literally amazing <laughs> I probably sound like such a dumb like airheaded girl like typical girl right now a lot of my friends are like oh yeah, like, I just don't really understand your excitement because, like, I don't love makeup. And, yeah, it's kind of sad. Like, I really love, love makeup. And when I got this, I was so happy and, like, no one could really, like, share the excitement. So I was like, mm. But a few of my friends have actually bought a few recently, so it's not too bad. So after my transition shades, I usually kind of grab, like, the main colour. Not too dark, not too light. And I kind of go in with that. So there'll be my kind of gold, my, like, purple there... There's the orange shade. Yeah, like this orangey shade. Um, and you can kind of pick whatever you want. I kind of go for like the most neutral of that colour. And then I'll usually go for like a darker one in the outer corner. And then in the inner corner, I'll use my finger mainly. Sometimes, to be honest, with this one. Because this one is so pigmented. I It's crazy. It's like this beautiful kind of coppery orange colour. Um, this purpley one is very nice. This is a kind of pinky copper shade. The top ones I kind of use in my like very corner. These are the last of the two rows and the next few ones next to her. So see how pigmented they are? Like it's crazy. Crazy good. <laughs> okay, so again, sorry that I'm such an unprofessional. <laughs> But look how amazing they are. So this one here is like one of my favourite copper shades. Oh my god, I'm such a mess. Look, it's like... Argh. These kind of purpley ones are very like smudgy. But I think that's good for your outer corner. And then look at these golds. And this like very light purpley one. And then these ones I kind of use in my outer crease all the time. But that's the general gist of the palette, I think. YouTube life. Really sorry that it's probably super unprofessional. Like, who does them on the back of their hand? That was just a rookie. And then I was like, oh, wait, you're meant to... Anyway, I've never done one, as I said. So that was just me attempting it. But yeah, that is my rookie attempt at a swatches video. I'm a mess now. I'm going to have to shower like eight times. Um, I really don't think that's how you're meant to do them. But I hope that it was helpful anyway. I kind of just wanted to give you guys like a general gist of what the colours actually look like on your skin. I have been wearing this palette every single day and loving it so much like I just cannot emphasize how amazing the colors are like 
that just makes me want to wear them right now and like go and do all these different looks and I've been having so much fun experimenting with different looks I also love that it has a black like a lot of eyeshadow palettes kind of forget the black and don't get me wrong I'm a huge naked fan as you all know if you watch my videos but I just feel like the Morphe palette A is cheaper and B gives you so much more to play with so much more room like you get a full kind of circle rather than like a mini like rectangle and yeah just so much more to play with color wise so I definitely would invest in another one. Oh, I did not just do that can't even use the back of my hand I'm an idiot if you have watched all of this video then thank you for putting up with my very rookiness um, but I hope it was semi helpful if you're thinking of buying a Morphe palette honestly would 100% recommend I think they're so well priced for what they are and what you get the quality is amazing so definitely definitely invest in one have a look at all the different colors and all the different palettes to make sure that you're gonna actually use the colors because if you're not someone who kind of likes the warm shades like I do then you're not gonna enjoy this palette if you know what I mean but I can guarantee that all the palettes are gonna be of this quality just make sure you get your right colors so thank you as always for watching and again for putting up with my terrible makeup abilities which yeah, I'm no professional, that's for sure. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. I'm doing weekly videos and to be honest, it's going really well this year. Usually like by February, I'm so like behind and it's ridiculous. But I have been really good, um, really well prepared, even though I've been working full time. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying them. If you are subscribed and if not, press that little button. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.